Dear students, myself, Dr. Mallika Sunesvirada, Assistant Professor in Mathematics, Government First Grade College, Pasuakal. In the previous class, that is in session 2, already we have discussed about Eilerian uh, Trail, Eilerian Cycle and Eilerian Graph. Okay, even uh, we took some examples also. This is an example of an Eilerian Graph. Yes, okay. So, this was the discussion what we have discussed in the previous class. Now, some observations. This is an example of an Eilerian Graph. So, clearly you can say Eilerian Graph is connected. Yes, clearly. An Eilerian graph is always connected, isn't it? Because if it is disconnected, you cannot come to the same point where you have started your journey. Or you can say you cannot uh, come to the same point where you have started your tracing. So that's why Eilerian graph must be a connected graph. So this is one simple observation. Let me think of the another one. You know already isolated vertex. Isolated means a vertex whose degree is zero. Is it possible to get an isolated vertex in the Eilerian graph? No. If, it, if there is an isolated vertex, we cannot reach this vertex at all. So therefore, it is another observation that an Eilerian graph does not contain any isolated vertex. So this is the second observation. And the third observation. So this is one example if I consider whether the Eilerian graph contains an, iso, uh, an end vertex. Is it possible to get an end vertex in an Eilerian graph? It is highly impossible because it is a closed trail. Means once you start at this vertex, you must come back to the same vertex where you started your tracing. So once if you start at this vertex V, of course you can reach other vertices. Can you come back? No, it is not possible because once if you trace this edge, edge repetition is not allowed. So that's why it is not possible. So therefore, there should not be any end vertex in the Eilerian graph. So therefore, what are the three observations? Eilerian graph is always connected. Eilerian graph does not contain any isolated vertex. Similarly, an Eilerian graph does not contain an end vertex. What do you mean by end vertex? Whose degree is 1. Okay. So these are the few observations. Okay. Now, we are going to discuss the third session. Third session. So third session before going for the characterizations of the Eilerian graph, it is better to consider one more session so that we understand the concepts very clearly by considering some more examples. So, so the topic of today's talk is examples on Eilerian trail, Eilerian cycle, and Eilerian graph. Okay. So let me consider some some more examples. On. Okay, give one example of an Eilerian trail. If this is the question, give one example of an Eilerian trail. If it is a question, what you are going to do? Give an example of an Eilerian trail. Okay. Give an example of an Eilerian trail. Of course, you can give any example of your choice. It's not compulsory to consider the same graph which are, I am going to draw. Okay, you can consider any graph of your choice. So I am going to consider this as an example. Okay, this is an example. Okay, so I shall label the vertices as V1, V2, V3 v4 v5 v6 right now how you will come to know whether it is Eilerian trail whether uh, this uh, uh, graph contains an Eilerian trail okay so we start at v1 okay then we reach at v2 v3 okay v4 next again you may reach at uh, V1 because repetition of vertex is allowed. Next to V6, V5, next V4. Okay, because already I have traced this edge. So we have started at V1, ended at V4. So you can say it is V1, V4, an Eilerian trail containing 
v1 v4 as starting and ending point eilerian train which starts at uh, v1 and ends at v4 so how could you or how to write the sequence so you can write in this way we have started at v1 next we have reached the edge or we have traced the edge v1 v6 next we have reached that uh, v6 then you can consider v5 v6 sorry v6 v5 and we have reached the vertex v5 next we have to consider the okay this is another way okay doesn't matter in this way also you can consider doesn't matter okay doesn't matter first i said like this or you can trace in this way also doesn't matter so next uh, we have reached v5 next you can consider v5 v6 sorry v4 v4 then we have reached that uh, v4 then you may consider which one this one you may consider like this next uh, it is v4 v1 next we have reached that v1 next you may consider like this v1 v2 then we have reached that v2 next v2 v3 v2 v3 next we have reached that v3 then v3 v4 v3 v4 and we have reached that v4 so this is an eilerian train if it is asked to write this eilerian train or if it is asked to specify the eilerian train in this graph so in this way you have to write or instead of writing v1 v6 you may label the edges as e1 or you may label this as e2 that is also possible okay even e2 like that also you can write if you want to save your time or you can write in this way also okay so this is how we have identified an eilerian tray in this graph so therefore this is an eilerian tray okay now if you observe properly if you observe properly what would be the characterization of an eilerian tray that we are going to discuss uh, after some time in the next coming sessions but let me ask it is for the curiosity if you observe properly if you observe properly the degree of every vertex the degree of every vertex then you will come to know one characterization of an eilerian tree this graph theory always makes you to think something okay it always makes you to think okay characterization it implies without specifying the sequence just if you observe you must be able to say whether it is eilerian trail or not so what would be the characterization so a, a, a person who has got the characterization it is just by observation any graph theorist who has got okay in this way if you think the degree of every vertex here it is even 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 degree but the starting point and ending point if you observe these two vertices degree is odd or a vertex is said to be even if its degree is even a vertex is said to be odd if its degree is odd so therefore what you can say v1 and v4 the starting and ending points are of degree 3 that is these two are odd vertices so therefore there is one characterization based on this thinking that we are going to discuss in the next class that is what would be the characterization of an eilerian tree that is it contains exactly two odd vertices any graph which contains exactly two odd vertices and definitely that graph will be an eilerian tree so that we are going to discuss in detail in the coming classes okay this is an example of an eilerian tree now consider another example for eilerian cycle so what would be the example of an eilerian cycle some other examples okay the second question i think that was the first one give an example of an eilerian cycle okay you can give an example of an eilerian cycle of only your choice let me consider one example yes this is an eilerian cycle because we start at v1 then we reach like this we have reached at v2 then we have reached at v3 there is no repetition of any edge we have reached at uh, v4 
then we have this z to be one that is starting and ending point of same so therefore this graph contains an eilerian cycle so that's why this graph is an eilerian graph so this is an eilerian cycle what is an eilerian cycle eilerian cycle you have to specify like this eilerian cycle so that is v1 v1 eilerian cycle so we start at v1 right then we have reached that the edge or we have traced the edge v1 then we have reached the vertex v2 then we have traced the edge e2 then we have reached the vertex v3 okay then uh, we have traced the edge e3 then we have reached the vertex v4 next we have traced the edge e4 next we have reached at v1 so therefore this is an eilerian cycle so this is an example of an eilerian cycle and any graph which contains an eilerian cycle is definitely an eilerian graph so this graph contains an eilerian cycle so that's why any graph which contains an eilerian cycle is obviously an eilerian graph so this is an example of an eilerian graph okay let me consider some more example to clarify the concept properly because in the coming classes we are going to discuss the characterizations of eilerian graph eilerian tree so that's why we must have clear picture about these concepts okay another question give an example of a graph which is not eilerian another question give an example give an example of a graph which is not eilerian which is not eilerian okay you may give an example okay so as far as this graph let me draw one graph so this is the graph i am going to consider okay i have considered one uh, example okay when uh, of course if it contains eilerian cycle then it is an eilerian graph if it doesn't contain any eilerian cycle then it is not an eilerian graph so we start at some point say for example we start at v1 okay v1 then we reach at v2 then at v3 then at v4 now the option is you may come like this okay or you may come like this also better consider this one so this is our v5 v5 next this is our v6 next the option is you may go like this or like this this already completed so there are two options if you reach like this what happens your starting point is v1 your ending point is v4 okay right so what should be the eilerian cycle starting and ending point must be same if you are starting at v1 you must reach at v1 only so if you go in this way <coughs> the starting and ending points are different therefore it doesn't contain an eilerian cycle if you try to come in this way of course the starting point and ending points are same but this edge you are not at all considered so when you say it is an eilerian cycle a closed trail containing all cycles of the all edges of the graph a closed trail containing all edges of the graph is called eilerian cycle of course you have started at v1 and ended at v1 but this edge you are not traced it implies you are not considered all edges of the graph so therefore this graph doesn't contain eilerian cycle there is no eilerian cycle at all so therefore this graph is not an eilerian graph is it clear i hope you have understood this so this is an example of in which it doesn't contain an eilerian cycle that's why it is not an eilerian graph let me consider another example okay find an eilerian graph find an eilerian graph 
Eilerian graph with six vertices and nine edges. With six vertices and, and nine edges. Okay. So you may try, you may try to draw a graph which is an Eilerian graph. It must contain six vert vertices and nine edges. You may try to draw this graph. Everyone may try. Of course, I will try to draw a graph containing six vertices. Let me take six vertices first. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Of course, it is an Eilerian graph with six vertices. It is an Eilerian graph with the six vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. But how about the edges? Edges are one, two, three, four, five. Of course, if you start at this point, one, two, three, four, five, six. It is an Eilerian graph with six vertices, but edges are only six. But we need an Eilerian graph with six vertices and nine edges. So you need to add three more edges. So what to do? I may add one more edge like this. Then I may add one more edge like this. Like this. Now, according to me, it is an Eilerian graph with six vertices and nine edges. Just verify whether it is right or wrong. Okay. So I start at this vertex. Okay, say V1. Then we have considered this edge. We have reached V2. Next V3. Next V4. Next there is an option. You may go like this or like this also. Or like this also. Any one option you can choose. Okay. We have reached V2. No problem. What text repetition is allowed? Only edge should not be repeated and no edges neglected. You have to consider all the edges. So like this. Okay. Next. Next. Like this. Next. We may come back like this. Okay. So this is our say V5. Next. You may this V6. Then the last option like this. So therefore we have started at V1 and we have ended at V1. So it is a closed trade, closed trade containing all edges of the graph. So therefore, this graph contains an Eilerian cycle. So that's why it is an Eilerian graph. And if you count the number of vertices and edges, there are six vertices and nine edges. So this is a simple example for the equation with six vertices and nine edges. Okay. Let me consider another example. Okay, one more thing. Already we have considered uh, many examples on Eilerian graph. If you, so next in the next class we are going to discuss one characterization, very important characterization. See, characterization it implies a graph theorist who has got that uh, result just by observation or if you think in a proper way, you may be able to get a characterization. So far we have considered uh, uh, so many examples on Eilerian graph. Even if you observe properly, even if you observe properly, Degree of every vertex. As I said previous, this is one example of an Eilerian graph. Okay. This is one example of an Eilerian graph. Say it is the one. This is another example of an Eilerian graph which we have considered in the previous class. I think, uh, I don't know whether uh, this is the graph or not. Yeah, I think so. I think, I think so. Okay. Or uh, you may consider, no, that doesn't matter, okay. Um, like this, okay. any of the possibilities. Okay, so, or you may consider like this. Yes, it is possible. You can join an edge because this turn on at the same. No, no, already have joined. I already have joined, it's not possible to join one more edge. Okay, already I have joined. Okay, if, if not, you may consider some other edge which will like this, like this. Okay, anyway, 
some uh, examples I can say like, okay, so this may not be highly in graph. This may not be highly in graph. I don't want to take the complicated ones right now. So this is one simple example which we have considered. And uh, this is another example. Okay. If these two are highly in graphs. If you observe properly the degree of every vertex, the degree of every vertex in the highly in graph, what is your observation? Here the degree of this vertex is 2. Here 4, 2, 4, 2, 4. Here the degree of every vertex is 2, 2, 2. So this is also an highly in graph. This is also an highly in graph. So if you observe in this way, that would be the characterization of an ideal graph. A graph is said to be an ideal graph if and only if degree of every vertex is E1. Okay. In this way, you can think. Still, I am not told what is the characterization. This is the way to think. This is the way to develop our thinking. Okay. So this could be the characterization that I am going to discuss in the next class. Okay. Now let me consider one more example. Find an Eilerian cycle of a graph shown below. What is the question? Find. We can ask such questions in the examination. Find an Eilerian graph or Eilerian cycle. Eilerian cycle of the graph G shown below. Of the graph G shown below. So one graph is given. So from that graph, you try to find out the Eilerian cycle. Okay. So the graph is, this is the graph. Whatever the graph they have given, that only you have to consider. Because from that graph only, we need to find out an Eilerian cycle. Okay. This is the graph they have given. If vertex, vertices and edges are not labeled, you may label according to your sequence. Okay. If they have given, you can consider the same sequence. Say V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. This is how they have labeled. Okay. Now, first of all, whether it is an Eilerian in the graph. Yes, if I start at this V2, V3, V5, sorry, V4 also you can reach. V5, V3, V6. V1 starting and ending points are same, so it contains an Eilerian cycle. That's why it's an Eilerian graph, you can say. But our aim, our uh, aim is to find out an Eilerian cycle from this graph. Okay. So what to do? <coughs> say E1. Okay, you may consider this as E1. E2. Next, uh, this is our uh, E3, E4, E5. Next, you may consider. E6 and E7. Okay, we have labeled all the vertices and edges. Let me consider the sequence Eilerian cycle. Eilerian cycle. So that is, it starts at V1 and ends at V1. So how to write? So we have started at V1. Next, comma. Again, you can consider this at E1. Next, V2. Next E2, next you have reached the vertex V3, next E3, you have reached the vertex V4, next uh, you can consider E4, next uh, V5, next you may consider E5, right? Next we have reached that V3, next E6, next it is V6. Next E7 and finally V1. So we have started at V1 and we have ended at V1. It is an alternating sequence of vertices and edges. Preceding and succeeding. So that is called a walk of course. It is a closed walk. So this is how we have identified an Eilerian cycle from this graph. Okay. So these are the few examples which I have considered in this class. So as I said, if you observe properly, there would be one characterization for an Eilerian graph and there would be one characterization for an Eilerian trail. So what are those? Those we are going to discuss in the coming sessions. With this we conclude today's lecture. Thank you.